We're going to show you how to camel clad a boat. Um, we've got a John boat here. What we're going to do is camel clad the sides and the transom of the boat. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to wash the entire boat. Got a bucket of water and a towel, some mild soap, just like you'd wash your vehicle, and wash the entire boat real well. The next, we're going to take a Scotch Brite pad, scuff pad, and we're going to go over the entire boat with it. And what this is going to do is eliminate any rough spots in the paint, smooth the paint out. And once you've got the paint and the, and the boat's all clean and the paint's all smoothed out with your Scotch Brad, go over it a second time with your rag and some water, getting all the paint residue off that you've created by scratching on the boat. And you'll see some of the color will come off on your uh, cloth. You keep going over the boat until that color is eliminated, until it's clean. And then what we'll do is we'll take uh, some DuPont Prepsol, wax and grease remover, some paper towels, and we'll go over the entire boat with it. The cleaning stages and the cleaning steps of doing a, a boat are you know, very important. With any, with any application when you're using adhesive, you want to make sure that this surface is clean and smooth so that the, uh, the adhesive will uh, adhere to the surface. So a lot of these boats have, a, have kind of a coarse paint job on them, and that's one of the reasons we want you to go over the whole boat with something that's going to smooth that out. If you're applying your uh, prep saw on your paper towel and it's tearing your paper towel apart like sandpaper, then you need to go back and smooth that out some more. You need to work at that more to get it smooth. So once we've got our boat all washed and smoothed out, then we're ready to begin the camouflage process. As you can see, we've gone over this boat, cleaned it. The other thing we've done is we've lifted the back of the boat up, put some supports underneath it so that the uh, trailer's not in our way for doing our uh, application here. And just take your Scotch-Brite pad and go over all the surfaces that you're planning on putting camel clad on. So first you wash it, then you run your Scotch-Brite pad on it, then you rinse it and wash it again, and then you put your prep saw on there, and then you're ready to put your camel clad on. All right, now we've got our boat all prepped. We've, we've done the prep saw and we've got it ready to go. And what we do, we take our four by five foot sheets of camel clad and we rip them in half long ways. Now we've got a two by five foot piece. And we're gonna lay three of these pieces up the side and then as the boat curves up in the front, we're gonna take that corner and place it in the very top front corner of the boat. And we'll show you that here a little bit later. But what you wanna do is you wanna start in the back so as you overlap the pieces, they work just like shingles. So as that boat's running through the water, these pieces overlap. So the second piece is gonna overlap the front piece just like shingles on a roof as that water's moving down the boat. And then when we come back and trim it out, we're actually gonna trim it out about a half an inch off of the edge of the boat so that there's no material that's gonna get around the corner, it's gonna catch. So we'll peel some of the backing off of this. I'm gonna peel the backing down about four or five inches and we'll stick it up here right underneath this rail and uh, we'll show you how to install this first piece. Go ahead and just fold that piece over so that it stays out of your way. And fold that over all the way down here. Alright, and once we've got that folded over, then you can just pick your piece up and lay it right up underneath this rail. Now 
And you can pull this back off and stick it back on there as many times as you need to get it started straight. And we'll get our squeegee and we'll just start squeegeeing this out. You want a little bit to hang off of the edges? We'll come back later and we'll uh, trim all that off. So we've got a little bit overhanging the back here. And we'll just keep squeegeeing this down. Squeegee it up here. The only thing you don't want to do is you don't want to create any wrinkles in the material as you're going down the side of the boat. So if you get any wrinkles, just stop. Go back. Do it again. If you got to pull the whole sheet back off and start over again, that's fine too. Alright. Put a little tension on the bottom of the piece of material with your hand. Pull the backing down a little bit more. And just keep working. Starting from the center and basically working outward as you go. get a wrinkle just put your hand back underneath there like I'm doing pull it back to where it's not wrinkled and just keep going coming up to the rib in the boat right here and that rib you want to make sure you don't have the material stuck to the top of the rib before you get it into that groove so pull the material back and make sure you've got it into that groove real good before you continue